Welcome back. So we have some slabs this time around. And yes, there is a single football card here. And uh, only reason for that is it's a Hall of Fame player. It's a PSA slab. It's a nine. And it was two bucks. So I did pick up a Peyton Manning uh, from Edge, 29, Collector's Edge, Masters, 1999, Galvanized. Number two, supposedly a thousand. So, fear is a good pickup. Second year, Manning, uh, for the price I got it, I should be able to turn it right over. Um, make some, a few dollars on it. Also, I picked up a uh, Victor Robles, 2018 Bones Best Rookie Refractor in a nine. Another situation went to auction and it was $2.99. Winning bid. So, picked up another Robles rookie. Um, this, uh, uh, sorry, these cards I actually still know a few people that like Giambi. So, I figure I can throw these in the care packages. I think it was five card, five, one, two, three, four, five, oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, five PSA, or sorry, BGS nine. Giambi rookies from 91 um, tops traded <clears throat> uh, for three bucks a piece. I figure I throw them into packages when I send them out. So, all the same grade. I haven't checked subgrades on each of them, but the end grade is all the same on them. Um, I've mentioned this card before. And recommended people pick it up. This is a 2001 Topps Ichiro Suzuki rookie card. This is another situation where any pack that you buy now, um, these cards are bricks. So once he goes in the Hall of Fame, and leading up to his induction, which is a certainty, uh, or as close to a certainty as you can get, um, you're not going to have people buying boxes, ripping them, and flooding the market with even eights, or especially nines or tens. So now's the time to kind of get in where you can on the 2001 Tops Ichiro Suzuki Rookie, um, because the population really isn't going to increase. Uh, you might have a few here and there where people may have stashed them away um, from previously ripped boxes, but... You're not going to have the flood of ripping and submitting like you do with some cards. So this is a really good pickup right now, in my opinion. The other good pickup is the combo from 2001 Tops Traded, the Ichiro Pujols Rookie. This one is in an 8. Uh, solid card to pick up. Uh, this is actually less money than that card even with two certain Hall of Famers on it. But again, even the sets from 2001 are all bricks. So the likelihood of the population increasing um, in, any significant man, uh, in, in any significant way is rather low. Um, so now's the time to pick these up. And then, because it was really inexpensive and I threw it into an order, uh, 2012 Tops, Mike Trout, and a PSA 9. Um, it was a few bucks, so I threw it in an order. And second year Trout, not bad at all. All right, the next group is actually adding to the PC. Um, I've kind of neglected the Al Rosen uh, PC, so I figured I might as well make some additions to it. And I'm actually going to start with this one. It's a 1977 TCMA um, Al Rosen auto card. So his autos you're going to pick up. I see prices ranging from 10 to 20 bucks. Former MVP, really short career, which is really what um, had a lot of injuries which is what prevents him from being in the Hall of Fame. But spectacular player um, back in the day. And then you have from 2005 SP Legendary Cuts, 
uh, glory days. So you have a little piece of uh, what is that? bat and auto. This one's not numbered, but very nice Al Rosen auto. Add to the PC. And one rather uh, ambitious project I'm going to be working on, hopefully a little bit more in the coming months, is a full run of original Al Rosen cards, but with autographs on them. So I have a bunch of them. I have a couple more on the way. Um, this is 1955 Tops, Al Rosen, autograph, authenticated. And obviously I only do the slab versions for all these cards. And then this is a particularly hard one to get, just the card itself, but especially auto, is a 1951 Burke Ross Al Rosen autograph card. Those are the Al Rosens I picked up for the PC. I had to pick up another one with a local boy, Reggie Jackson, 1969 tops, and a PSA 4. Got a really good price on this. Well-centered card, not perfect, but a well-centered card. Decent corners on it, clean, slabbed. Yeah, I'll take this any day of the week. For another PC, 1964 Bazooka Stamps, Sandy Koufax, authentic. So, not an easy one to find either. This one I threw into an order um, because it was like 10 bucks for 91 Tops Archives, Ralph Kiner, authenticated auto. Nice Pittsburgh Hall of Fame hit on this one. Next up, and I will use this as a blocker for the other two, the next two cards, because they're big ones that I'm going to show you. And this is a 1989 Perez Steel Celebration Duke Snyder autograph. So the postcard itself is a grade 9. The auto was graded at an 8. Um, and I guess it's because a little bit of streaking up here is what did it in. Everything else is clean. It's like perfect spot on it between the, the, the portrait and the action uh, painting down there. It's a beautiful card and for I think 15 or 20 bucks, it really presents well. And it's got the Brooklyn cap on them too. So that's a nice Hall of Fame pickup. Now, um... So a lot of people, especially in responses to the giveaway I have going on, said the 21 Ruth is the favorite card they've seen me purchase. <clears throat> there is a possibility that one of these next two cards may change your opinion. And you can feel free to go back and amend your, you know, make a comment uh, making that change if you so choose. And for anybody that has yet to enter, this can obviously be the one that you choose. Because the deadline is the 15th. So, I'm debating which one to go next, but let's start with this one. Murder's Row, 1927, W560, Lou Gehrig, hand cut, in a one, but it's a Lou Gehrig from 1927. I got an absolutely phenomenal deal on this. Um, roughly speaking, it was a third of the next lowest I was seeing listed um, as having sold. So I saw this. It is slabbed. It's SGC. Um, it's a one, which, okay. Um but again, it's a 1927 Lou Gehrig. Um, so I was very happy to pick this up, especially for the price I managed to get it at. Never thought I would be able to pick up a Gehrig at that price. And the last one, his teammate, this time listed as an outfielder, 
Babe Ruth. This is a 1928 Ruth Frojoy. Look out, Mr. Pitcher. And what I really liked with this card, well, A, the price, first and foremost. Um, it's a plain day's Ruth at a price that was just phenomenal. It's great to one, which is okay with me. It still presents well. Um, but if you read the content, it says, this is the formidable picture of the enemy slab man has to face. All of the babes bats have names. He made his 26 record with Black Betsy, a brunette, afterwards broken. The one in the picture is the king's current favorite, Big Bertha, an ash blonde. I just thought that was pretty cool, talking about the bats that he used um, in the 20s. Um, and it's just an absolutely really cool card to pick up. Um, it's an actual photo of Ruth. Again, plain days. Like, just an amazing card, and I am so happy to have picked it up, um, especially for the price I did. Because there's a lot of cards that you've seen on this channel that um, I know it's hard to believe, but, you know, you would think they're a heck of a lot more than what I actually ended up paying for them. So, I think Mr. Snyder can uh, move off to the side at this point. But those were the big boys in the mail today. Uh, without a doubt, if you want to add another Yankee guy in there, you can put Reggie right there. Um, but just two phenomenal finds um, for just astounding, astoundingly low prices and again i'm really just happy to add them to the collection um because i'm really enjoying the pre-war um cards and some of the um i guess this would be a food card and some of the strip cards it's just been a heck of a lot of fun finding them um, at prices that i can afford because my funds are quite limited um and the turning over of other cards has allowed me to pick these up. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you had a chance um, to enter the giveaway. You still have a little bit of time left. About a week and a half. And feel free to amend your response if one of these two uh, is the new number one spot for you. Um... But I look forward to hearing what you guys have to think about these pickups. Um, and that's all I got for you this time around. So I'll leave you with the same way I usually do. And that's to say, collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. And don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly... Have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, show, and talking about the hobby of family and friends. There's a tremendous community out there with a wealth of knowledge that you, know, you have immediate access to. And they are great people. I've met some fantastic people, a hugely diverse group of people, which is great. Uh, I don't expect everybody to be the same. I don't expect us to have the same collections. Um, and it's been just an absolute blast to talk to a variety of people about a huge array of different PCs and to just have fun and join cards and join the sport and just learning from everybody. Um, and I'm very fortunate to call many of them friends at this point. So, 
hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the, I would ne'er say, unbelievable additions to the collection. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.